Hello, 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 Virgo. This is Nikki. This is your reading about work. Okay. Message for Virgo reading about work. Peace. Release the past. There is more. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. So maybe find you some peace at work. Uh, maybe a different job. Something that's going to change for you. We got the world. A very happy ending coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. So this is about you doing something new at work. Maybe a new, uh, maybe a raise. Maybe a brand new job. Uh, whatever is coming for you on the work front is definitely going to make you happy. You're going to be more at peace. Yeah, celebrate. It's time for you to celebrate. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So if you've been dealing with a really shitty boss or some really jacked up co-workers, now this is an opportunity for you to find some peace. Maybe somebody got fired. Maybe they left the job. Maybe you found something new, whatever. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. And that's what you're doing by letting go. <clears throat> somebody let go. Somebody got fired. Somebody quit. Maybe you went to a different department or a different job altogether for you to find some peace. And that's exactly what I'm hearing. Peace and tranquility, Virgo. Peace and tranquility. You know, your material needs are being met, you know, are getting fulfilled in so many different ways uh, through acts of kindness, giving and receiving with a grateful heart. More and more people are going to start giving stuff to you. It's like people are just going to be gifting you some things, uh, maybe giving you a little money here and there, buy a little trinket or something, giving you just like acts of kindness, like uh, candles or just little gifts that they think about you when they see something. And so I thought about you and I thought you might want, want, want this strawberry ice cream or, or peanut brittle or something, just doing something nice because of who you are, all right? You needn't go through your current cha challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. I think that this is you always not singling people out, but helping people when they really need you. You're just a person that they can really talk to. And that's why people give so much to you. Even if it's not the people you're helping, you still have somebody in your life who, who you know, who uh, who constantly gives to you because you're, you're constantly giving to others. Okay. Release the past. You will grow. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So you're going through a, a healing period. Some things in your past that you haven't let go and you know you ha you need to. It's like you have not let this feeling come through. It's like you're holding on to all of that heartache and pain instead of letting it go and releasing it. I'm hearing the name J, like J J J A Y or J C J A Y C E E. That's what I'm hearing. But I feel like you haven't dealt with a lot of heartache and pain in your life because you don't want to deal with it because you, you know how it makes you feel. But it's time to move on from that energy. Look, the light at the end of a tunnel, breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So maybe you just need to get away from some people in your family who you have yet to make up from. Uh, maybe there are some some wounds there that are hard to heal and you're not free from that. Excuse me. You're not free from that yet. You got to release this past, okay? So you will grow from this situation. And time heals all wounds. At some point, you may forgive your family, but then again, you may not. But you got to understand there's a better course of action, okay? There is a better course of action for you. Um, you just possibly got to leave. And, and, and uh, walking away from a job or a store maybe going to a new job if you want to be more happier and at peace. And even with your family, this goes beyond the job. It's like releasing your family members who you're not getting along with anyway. Um, you haven't talked to these people in a long time. It's okay to back the fuck off, okay? It's okay not to go be out of your way to make amends with people who are not trying to make amends with you, all right? I just feel like sometimes you just got to get away and walk away. There's a better course of action here for you, all right? I'm hearing you don't always have to be the first one to apologize, all right? I just feel like you have already done this. You finally left some people behind that are no longer serving you, and it really does feel better. You're breathing in a sigh of relief, and you're making new plans, you know, to even get further away from these people or try to find some other opportunities in your life. And you can, okay? Yeah, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. 
but review those contracts or documents very, very thoroughly. All right. If you're signing up for a new job, make sure these people paying you for what you're worth. You know, uh, speak that into existence for yourself. Make sure they don't pull a bait and switch and say, I'm paying you such and such an hour. But when you get your first check, your first paycheck, you realize, no, nah, you shorting me an amount per hour. This is not the amount that we talked about. So make sure you check into that. Look into that. Okay. Got the sun. <clears throat> Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and being an inspiring success. Not only are you an inspiration to yourself, but you're also an inspiration to others. But sometimes people can't figure you out, all right? But you make it that way. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. You have some fears about what to do next in your life. Should I move? Should I relocate? Should I try to make up with the family? Should I just stay at this dead end, boring ass, stupid ass job? Or should I just find something different? Spirit, what do you want me to do? It's up to you. It's all in your wheelhouse what you want to do with this information. But honestly, it's possibly best that you move on in order to be much, much more happier and at peace and at ease in your life. Make plans, um, bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible for you. Important relationships with people who share the same vision. If they're not sharing the same vis vision with you, if they if they can't uphold your life and their life the way you want, up to your up to your standards, but in a positive way, Virgo, not a negative way. You know these these people don't don't have your back. Walk away from them. And we have congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. It's time to move on to the next project: awards, scholarships, and promotions. All because of the the backbone that you grew all because you're no longer letting grass grow under your feet you're not being held back you know not out of fear not out of fear it's like you're making these bold and ambitious choices you may not know where you go what's going to happen when you get there but the fact of the matter is when you get there it's going to be all good it's going to be all gravy there's tons of opportunity for awaiting you okay tons and we have here prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. It's all about you being optimistic. It's all about you. It didn't say anything about stopping, slowing down. It's a next step. Progress. Move forward. Move on to the to the next step. Move on to the next level. Because your optimistic plans, they're going to turn out just the way you thought. If not better. If not better. So much, so much more coming your way. When you give, you, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Wanting to be stuck in the same dead-ass situation that you've always been in, it's time to move on away from that. Extremes on how you save or spend money, you got to watch your spending, okay? And you may be hoarding money. It's okay if you want to do that, but please go out and have some fun every now and again, okay? Finally, <clears throat> we have here the Knight of Raphael. Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet. Situations are topic that make your heart flutter pitter patter pitter patter patter i do see a lot of good things coming from your baby from, from, from your baby from your bay <laughs> this new person coming into your life make names may his name may be Raph or her i'm hearing Raphael, but i'm also hearing raquel okay um but definitely take on this new way of living this is you progressing this is you moving forward and getting all of your dreams to come true for you with one step forward forgiving forgetting the past forgiving what no longer serves you and moving on into a happier life into a more peaceful and contented life life is wonderful thrive through the power of positive thinking because you are an inspiring success talk to you later